In one of those incidents where I just cannot be making it up, Kareem Nabah, he owns a hair salon in London, and he put up a poster with Kim Jong-un's face on it and says, tired of this same old haircut, well, tired of a bad haircut, get a new one, which makes the allusion to the recent false claim that Kim Jong-un forced everybody to get the same haircut as him, which even notoriously anti-DPRK sources confirmed was pretty much a complete lie. Now, when this happened, he claims that he got people coming from the DPRK embassy ordering him to take it down. Now, initially, I thought, okay, yeah, sure. But then I contacted people, a, a particular person that I know in the DPRK Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and he said, yes, there actually was an incident where people from the DPRK embassy went down there and said, this is disrespectful, can you please remove it? Now, there was no order to do so. That's a complete fabrication on his part. Now, what's really interesting about this is that he called the police and said, oh, the DPRK just threatened me and I have to call the police because of this. And the police found that there was absolutely nothing to charge anyone with because no actual law was broken and it's all completely meaningless. However, I do notice that it's kind of strange how he would just happen to choose to put that poster within two kilometers of the DPRK embassy, which he claims he didn't know was there. Yet this strange little incident gets magnified out of control where he makes himself out to be a victim and then goes out in the media and say, oh look, North Korea attacked me because of my poster. You know, we can't really blame him that much. He is trying to get attention for his business and businessmen, or particularly ones in such a frivolous institution as barbering. Now, I don't mean the general, you know, every day you get a haircut and, you know, that's what you do. I mean the people who try to sell you an exorbitant amount of money and all tons of products that you don't actually need. Again, this is just one of those funny stories that when we look back on it, we're probably going to laugh. It's pretty much just an attempt by a by seemingly a small business just trying to generate some attention for revenue. Thank you for watching. Please comment and rate the video. If you liked it, hit subscribe or check out some of these other great videos. If you wish, share it on social media. And while you're at it, why don't you follow me on Twitter? And if you got time, go on over to the MRN bookstore and check out some of the latest books available.